economist. Yes. And you're working for the Department of Treasury, yeah. yet you're talking about <laughs> us being spiritual beings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's not the common conversation we have at, at, at the Treasury, particularly right now with the, the world financial crisis. But, you know, it's interesting because we are, as you say, I, I come from a very rigid science of economics, but particularly in the events that are occurring in the world right now with, you know, the, the housing crisis in the US, which has now spread systemically throughout the world, the rest of the world is beginning to question these, these rigid beliefs we've had about consumerism and about the way we run our economy. And you'd be surprised how even in these circles that, such as economics, people are beginning to question, well, perhaps we need to reevaluate our systems that, that support you know, extremes of wealth and try to encourage capitalism to an extent which might isolate and alienate people um, from the system. And I think the world is beginning to realize that there was a lot of greed and self-interest that has driven us to the state we are now. So surprising, there's a lot of opportunities, even in an economic context, to discuss some of these spiritual values that you know, society might be struggling with. Thank you.